Okay guys, so yeah, before I went to Lidl, I went through the app to see what I wanted to purchase. And I noticed they had a couple things that I was interested in. Uh, see, they had they have steak for $4.49. Um, I have to look and see if that's what I want. Ham. Um, let's see, some more steak. The shaved steak. Um, they have salmon. That looks good. Um, avocado, cauliflower, um, the salad mixes, and some outside plants. No carbs for me. Um, some rice cauliflower with the lemon. That sounds interesting. I might get that. Maybe turkey bacon, calamari, cheeses, some almonds, um, a box of popcorn. I see some edamame broth. Um, some sauces, a shrimp, and, and this ad looks all right. Got a cauliflower, frozen cauliflower, some naan bread for the girls, um, and just some overall, um, things, Easter things. Um, I need, I know I need to buy some things for that. Yeah, they look pretty good. Some nice toys and candy. The pajamas I'll probably take a look at. And that cutting board looks nice. Bread maker, waffle maker. Hmm. Twenty four ninety nine. Yeah. I'm just scoping the ad to see what I want to purchase. It's the weekend deals. I'll probably catch some of those. Hey everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my first Lidl haul. I went to Lidl and I picked up some items for the week to meal meal prep and meal plan. So I like to go through everything with you that I bought. And I'll also um, put down in the description below the meals that I plan on making. So here we go. Today I purchased the Power Aid Zero Sugar. Um, I use these for after um, workouts. This is the great favor, one of my favorites. So yeah, I bought this, and I also bought another flavor. I bought the mixed berry kind, and of course there is zero calories and less than one gram of carbs. And I also purchased the sparkling ice kiwi strawberry. And then this is also zero everything, as you can see, zero carbs, has some vitamins in there. Okay. I also purchased a jar of hamburger dill chips. And these are one gram of carbs. I bought some classic Caesar dressing. And this is one gram of carbs also per serving. And on to my vegetables. For my vegetables this week, I'll be using some sliced mushrooms. Um, I bought the kids some watermelon chunks. I won't partake in these since they are not really keto, but the kids love them. So I bought these for them. I also purchased this turkey and bacon country cob salad kit for my husband. Um, he'll probably take this to work with him. Um, and this has uh, lettuce and turkey and bacon and eggs. And we see the carb count on here. The carb count on here is five net carbs because there's seven grams of carbs and two fibers. I also purchased a pack of their mini cucumbers. I'm probably going to pickle these and make pickle slices or um, cucumber salads. But anyway, I'll link that um, down in the description below what I'll probably do with these. I purchased some hearts of romaine lettuce. And then I also purchased the spring mix. I like to mix the two together 
And then I bought some cheeses. I bought the premium Colby Jack cheese bars, snacking bars. I take these to work. And they are zero net carbs. Natural cheeses. I got my two bags of cheeses this week. I got my mozzarella shredded cheese, two pounds. And let's see, this is two net carbs per serving because you know that the shredded cheeses they seem they sometimes contain cornstarch in them which is makes them less of a keto item so it's always best to make to um shred your cheeses yourself but as a working mom i don't always have time for that um i bought two pounds of the mexican style cheese finely shredded this is less carbs than the mozzarella. This is only one gram of carbs. Let me see. This also has um, the cornstarch. Yes, it's probably less of an amount. All right, and here is what I'm cooking today. We're making some meatballs. I'm going to throw these in the oven with um, some tomato sauce, low carb, no sugar tomato sauce. And... These particular meatballs have three net carbs per serving, and it's six meatballs a serving. And I bought two bags of these, so I'm going to make that. And along with it, I'll probably cook this Tuxkin seasoned broccoli. This has become a favorite, a family favorite. Um, I either microwave them or I saute them on the stove. They are all, they already come seasoned. And you know I love Green Giant Simply Steams because they come out with all these cauliflower rice and um, cauliflower items that um, are very keto friendly. So the macros for these are four net carbs per serving. Um, I usually don't eat that much, but they are a vegetable. And they are pretty good ingredients. Um, so, yeah, not too bad. You got your, what you got? You got your rice flour. That's what's going to give you your carbs. Yeah, that I can see. Because um, there's only broccoli, olive oil, and then rice flour, and then the Parmesan cheese, salt, um, whey, parsley, onion powder, garlic powder, natural flavors, salt, spices, buttermilk, dried red bell pepper, lactate accent, and the milk. So I believe the milk and the rice flour is what's giving you all those carbs. But it's still not that bad. I bought my bag of broccoli. Um, this is definitely for... Um, a meal that I plan on making and I will link that down below it is two net carbs for serving for that bag and then I also bought two bags of the green giant rice veggies this is the cauliflower with lemon and garlic I have never tried these before um, I think I've tried every flat flavor that green giant um, rice veggies have but I've never tried these and I am very interested. I'm not sure what I'm going to cook with them, but I will let you know and I will link that down below. I also bought two packs of the Jenny O turkey bacon. And as you know, they're meat, so they're zero net carbs. Now, of course, you can have your regular bacon on keto and it's actually preferred. But sometimes I like to go a little light. Um, less calories, less fat, and get me some turkey bacon. And they were on sale. So it's a good price. And I got two packs of those. And then on to the not-so-keto-friendly things for my kids. Um, I purchased these Caesar croutons. My oldest daughter loves to make Caesar salad, so she's going to use that. Um, to make our Caesar salad. And then I bought them a container of the lactose-free uh, 2% reduced fat milk. A regular Gatorade. And I'm curious to see how much carbs is in here. Let's see if it'll focus. 
22 grams of carbs per serving, but there's two and a half servings in this container, which makes a total of 58 carbs. Whew. That's like three days of the carbs that I eat and drink. So I'm definitely not partaking in that. Now I might use this as a cheat date. This is oven ready sea salt and pepper calamari. Depends on um, the breading. I'm a little particular about my calamari, but we're gonna see. I think I'm probably gonna cook this in the air fryer and see how that comes out. Um, it is, what? 11 net carbs per serving not too keto friendly of course because of the breading but i think i am going to use this as a cheat day because you got to live a little with a salad i think it'll be just fine and i purchased these chow mein noodles my kids love the noodles you know the noodles um from panda express i'm trying to make like something like that for them for dinner one day um, and of course, I won't partake in that. I'll just eat the vegetables because these carbs are ridiculous. Um, 40 net carbs for per serving, right? Yeah, and it's four servings in here, so that's like a big no-no. <laughs> that would set me back about a week. Um, and I got these flour tortillas, the large burrito kind for the kids. And of course... Some movie theater popcorn. We plan on having a movie night one night this week. Um, whole 100% whole grain corn. Now these macros aren't that bad. So if I was to cheat, um, I could see myself doing this. 17 um, grams of carbs per bag, right? But per cup, it's only three. So I can have a cup of popcorn and be okay. And of course, the corn is carbs. But usually, usually this with the Smart Pop that I buy, usually doesn't knock me out of ketosis. So I'm going to see if this does and um, check my ketones before and after. And I will let you know. And last but not least, I purchased two of the seltzer waters, two different kinds. I purchased the lemon lime and the grapefruit. And you'll probably mix this with some fruit and um, different flavors to make soda and something else. I'll let you know. Um, I'm gonna link down my meal plan and everything that I'm gonna use, that I'm gonna cook using these ingredients down below. I appreciate all your support and I thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Go ahead on and subscribe to this channel and show your support. And if you love this video, go ahead and give me a big like, and I will talk to you soon. See you guys. Bye.